Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing the calipers. It's a beautiful day outside, so perfect time to be doing that. So what we're gonna need is, if we come over here, I'll show you guys. Uh, we got brake cleaner, which is from Screwfix, but you can pick up something from any kind of hardware store. It has to give the, the, the calipers a good clean. And we've got some wire brushes varying uh, different stiffnesses so we've got small ones here to get into all the nooks and crannies and then we've got a couple more which hopefully we won't need to use these ones but if we do we've got a couple more that are just a, a bit bigger and stiffer obviously we've got the paint see if you can have a guess what color paint we're going for uh, I think this is 150 mil which is enough to do all four corners and then I Picked a collection of makeup brushes off my daughter. She no longer uses these, so I thought they'd be perfect for getting into all the nooks and crannies of the calipers that we're going to be painting. Got some stickers. Pop on the calipers once it's painted, because I'm going to go over the ones that are on the calipers at the moment. Obviously, you're going to need your trolley jack to lift up the car. Jack stands. And I can't stress how important this is. Please don't work under a car just supported by that you're asking for a whole heap of trouble just don't do it it's not worth it get it under some stands okay guys here we are outside what a beautiful day must be a good 16 degrees all right here's the the original ones they kind of look well i'd say a dark gray or black they're very dirty but yeah we'll put one of the brake caliper stickers on there Get it to stand out a bit. We'll get all that sprayed. Not sprayed, sorry, painted. And then here's the rears looking a bit dirty. We'll get all that cleaned up and then we'll get that a nice new colour. Alright, before you jack the car up, you want to crack all the nuts off first so they're loose because you'll struggle to crack those off once the wheel is actually up. Um, so we'll crack these five off, and we'll crack the five off on the front wheels, and then we'll get it up on some stands. So a good time while the wheels are off to inspect brake pads and the rears have about five mil left so we'll be needing to replace those soon and the fronts oh, the fronts have got a good bit so they must have been replaced at some point recently there's probably a good 10 12 mil on the fronts right so now yeah, I'll break clean up. Electric blue. And then start painting. Probably going to need two coats in this kind of heat. I would hopefully be able to come back 
to the front after I've done the back. It does actually smell like nail varnish. I had my eyes shut. I would swear blind the girls were doing their nail varnish at home. Because we've got these makeup brushes, it does make it a hell of a lot easier getting inside. Okay, so now it's time to fit the sticker. If you um, gently peel it off, peel off the back end so you've got the front see-through transparent and then offer it up but don't touch the caliper until you're happy with the final position. Then just gently, gently touch it in and get the sticker to touch the caliper. Try and not get the, the transparent front to touch too much because that is also sticky and the last thing you want is for that to start peeling off the freshly painted blue off the calipers so gently using the back end like I am here you can use that to hold the sticker in place and then just gently peel it off the longer you leave the paint to dry obviously the less chance you're gonna have of it pulling away freshly painted but I didn't leave too much time while I done this so just take a precaution with that guys when you're doing this stage last thing you want to do is peel some paint away and then once that's done you can use the back piece offer it up and then just run your finger up and down it just to get the sticker to fully touch home and that's it jobs are good and now to put the wheel on and do the other side but you guys don't need to see that because it's pretty much the same as this side so we'll just cut to the final final bit well guys so we're done I've done the other side pretty much the same Front and now the back. Wasn't too sure when I just painted the calipers because it is quite a darker, deeper blue than what the car is. But I think now, once the wheels are on, it does actually look okay. I do really like it, it pops out a bit more. But I suppose that's the problem when you're buying colours off the internet. It's never quite how it, you think it's going to be. But actually, I'm really happy with it. Don't know how long they're going to last and how hard wearing it's going to be. And probably haven't prepped it as good as I could have done. It was just a quick, pretty much a quick slap on really. But that's it, nice and easy. Oh, the car is very dirty. Excuse them filth of it but unfortunately for such a small car you'd think it'd be a nice quick wash but it's not because that big bugger then wants washing as if that's not enough then that wants washing the battle bus so between the three vehicles it takes me a good few hours washing all those and then if my daughter's in the little rat bag 
her car wants washing so it's pretty much a whole day out washing freaking cars anyhow thanks for watching guys more content up next week if you're new to the channel thanks for popping over if you like what you see please subscribe see you guys next week bye